So John, um, all the talk's finally over. Huge game this week. Yeah, massive game. You know, we've uh, big game for the town, for for the team, um, for the I think the game of rugby league and Super League itself. It's a, the World Cup series has um, captured everyone's imaginations. I think the fact we've sold out is is a huge plus for the game. Uh, and, and just really excited to, to build up for it now. Um, it's a long week of training. Uh, we had a, obviously played Thursday, so we've got a nice long week to prep. Uh, and the, maybe the challenge for us this week is just maybe keeping our emotions in check. You know, it's with a long turnaround, it's, it's quite easy to maybe you know get carried away and too ramped up about the game. But we've we've got a, a long week to prepare well, and that started today. The, the kind of game where you. You leave nothing out there on the pitch, I guess. It, it's, that's the difference between uh, probably the game you played in last week. Yeah, exactly. No, it's the first few weeks of Super League and even the friendlies have been about building some form going into this game. You know, without doubt, with all respect to the teams we've played in Super League, it's been about the World Club Series and we wanted to work on things and look at things that are going to help us in this game. And, and the difference between obviously Super League and this is it's, it's do or die, isn't it? You know, we, we don't get another week to try and win this one. So, yeah, we, we, we're really fired up, like motivated beyond belief. Um, like I said, the challenge is just controlling that emotion. Yeah. I'm going to say the atmosphere, sell-out crowd, that's, that's it's going to be incredible on the night. Well, when Langtree Park was built, you know, and it took substantial investment from him, the Manus, the board, you know, Mike Coleman. Uh, and, and when they did uh, the, the redevelopment of the stadium and when they had the vision to move from Nosy Road, games like this were... And, you know, in the forefront of their mind, a venue fitting and suitable for, you know, world champions, and and, and, and that's the aim for us following Sunday night's game is to not have the facility, but also have the, the title to go with it. Of course, a chance for some early silverware, potentially two pieces of silverware. You know, if if, if Super League can can get one over the NRL in, in the series, that, how big a carrot is that? The, the fact that you're representing the competition and you you know you're, you're playing your part in that too. Yeah, I think so. I think look individually, we, you know, we've got a huge game against South, so that's you know really important for us. Uh, aside from that, there's some other games going on which I watch with interest, but you know, our focus is is that South game. Um, if you're looking at the wider context of rugby league, I think rugby league fans in this country have, have that niggling sort of doubt that about the NRL, how much better it is than Super League, and, and you kind of want to prove people wrong who are critical of Super League all the time. And I think for the fans, it's really important that you know Super League comes up well this weekend. But for, for me, as captain says, I'm, I'm just looking at our game on Sunday, and I hope that that is as exciting and as you know as dramatic as, as, as what we, we feel it will be. Looking at yourself and, and Sals, would you say, it's fair to say that you, you're the underdogs? Not not by much though, but would you say you're the underdogs? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I, look, there's a, there's a lot of factors that go into this World Club Series. It's not as simple as who's playing the best, which you usually derive form from. So, you know, it's um, it's very difficult to even predict who, who'd be favourites. But, yeah, you know, they've got some world-class players, haven't they? You know, if you look at Greg Inglis, Isaac Luke, um, they'd get any side in the world. Greg Inglis is probably one of the best players in world rugby and um, has been for a couple of years so yeah we've, we've got a lot of prep to do to, to get ready to play against those fellas and, and they'll certainly bring a level of intensity that exceeds you know what we've played against in Super League so far this year and they've only just arrived today well that do you feel that has any any bearing on the game oh, we've got other... a Sunday game haven't we obviously not ideal to travel such a long way before a game uh, I think credit to the Australian teams for, for buying into it for committing all the resource to getting here um, They've flown over business class mind. So for anybody who hasn't been in a business class flight, it's it's not particularly traumatic. You know, you get in uh, you get in press your button and you get a sort of Michelin star meal on your on your plate and you get a bed and an endless selection of movies. So for most rugby league players it won't be different to a normal day off, would it? So uh, it's probably a lot of our fellas replicated being on a business class flight but at home on the PlayStations over the weekend anyway, so no difference.